Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta. And today we will understand cross validated predictive ability test in Smart PLS4, also known as CVPAN. The cross validated predictive ability test represents an alternative to PLS Predict for prediction oriented assessment of PLSM results. The CVPAD was developed by Langat for prediction oriented model comparison in PLSM. Sharma et al. extended the CVPAD for evaluating the model's predictive abilities. CVPAT applies an out-of-sample prediction approach to calculate the model's prediction error, which determines the average loss value. For prediction mode model assessment, this average loss value is compared to the average loss value of the prediction using indicator averages as a new benchmark and the average loss value of the linear model forecast as a more conservative benchmark. PLSM average loss should be lower than the average loss of the benchmark which is expressed by the negative difference in the average loss values. CVPAT tests whether the PLSM average loss is significantly lower than the average loss of the benchmarks. Therefore, the difference of average loss values should be significantly below zero to substantiate better predictive uh, capabilities of the model compared to the prediction benchmark. Now, this entire concept I will explain in Smart PLS 4. We are having a model where organizational commitment is affecting the staying intention of an employee. Environmental perception affects the staying intention of an employee. Co-workers affect the behavior of the co-workers affect the staying intention of an employee. Job satisfaction affects the staying intention of an employee. Now we want to calculate CVPAT. Remember one thing, the values of CVPAT will be only, gener will be only generated for the endogenous construct. It will be only generated for staying intention. So, we will go and calculate PLS predict CV pad. Start the calculation. Now, open the report. Click on CV pad. You will get uh, PLS SAM versus indicator average values and PLS SAM versus linear model. You can see here. Now, PLS SAM versus indicator average. It is necessary that this should be negative. It means that the losses in PLSM are less compared to indicator averages and linear model. Moreover, these losses are significant or rather we can say that it is necessary that the p-value should be less than 0 0.05. Then only we can say that the PLS model has got the better predictive ability in comparison to indicator average and the linear model. Now, what we will interpret from this? So, we will go on the next slide. In both CVPAT results, that is PLSM versus indicator average and PLSM versus linear model, we obtain a negative average loss value difference for the overall model. This means that PLSM has a lower average loss than I, indicator average, and LM, prediction benchmark. Moreover, since the p-value is below 0.05, we conclude, see, it is necessary that the average loss should be negative and p-value should be less than 0.05. So, we can conclude that PLSM predictive capabilities are significantly better than those of two prediction benchmarks. These two prediction benchmarks are indicator average and the linear model. Hence, the CVPAT results support the high predictive power of the PLSM results for the corporate reputation model. So this was all about CVPAT. For more videos on Smart PLS4, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please refer my playlist in which I already uploaded many videos on Smart PLS4. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the like button.